Um, today is the 25th, if I'm not mistaken. Today is the uh, yeah. Today's 25th. I want to do a little video quickly because I was reading, um, reading and watching the video. Uh, that Brandon Foster, 11 year old, has leukemia, who passed away, I believe it was last Friday. And my heart, you know, my heart, my heart goes out to his family because he only had one, one wish. This 11 year old that the doctor told him he only had two weeks to live. And the wish that he had was to help feed the homeless. Eleven year old. Dying. And the only wish that he wanted was that he was able to be able to feed and help the homeless. If you haven't saw the video, if you don't even know who he is, Google, Yahoo it, whatever. His name is Brandon, B-R-E-N, D-E-N, Foster, F-O-S-T-E-R. And if God can use an 11 year old, then do you not think he can use us as well? You know, I did the video Sunday saying about my assistant pastor talking about in her Sunday message about Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving. Be thankful that you're living. Even though things might not be as what we all might want it to be, but be thankful that you got shoes on your feet. Be thankful that you got a roof over your head. Be thankful you got that job that you can go to. Be thankful that you got a roof over your head and you're not out in the cold with no blanket, no heat, be thankful. Be thankful for the things that you have. If we might not have what we want, we might not have what we need, but be thankful for what you have. Because there's a lot of folks, there's a lot of people that don't even have that. They don't have it at all. And you know, I just want to do a, I just want to do a little prayer. If you all choose to watch my video, that's fine. If you choose not to watch it, don't watch it. Unsubscribe. But I do believe in the power of prayer. I believe that prayer can change everything and anything if you believe. And I just want to say a prayer for the Foster family. You know, Father Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, to come in, Lord God, and let it be all of you and nothing of me. Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, to come in, Lord God, and keep your angels in cap around the family, Lord God. But Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, to Come in, Lord God, and touch each and every person that watch this video, the sound of my voice. Father, Lord God, don't let them leave home without being able to help someone. Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, to come in, Lord God, and touch us as a whole so we can learn how to appreciate what we have. And stop taking things that we do not have for granted. 
Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, to keep your angels encamped around us, Lord God. Father, Lord God, while we're going through Thanksgiving season, it's a shame that they put our Christmas stuff out and we haven't even got over it. We haven't even, we haven't even, we haven't, Thanksgiving is not even here. Lord God, I ask you, Father, Lord God, to let us be thankful, not just for Thanksgiving, but be thankful every day for you keeping us, blessing us, and continue to carry us along our way. Father, Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, I thank you for Brandon. And I don't even know the young boy. But he touched my heart. And I thank you for him that what he left was you can't beat God's giving. It don't matter what kind of giving it is, if it's helping someone, if it's talking to someone, if it's just being there. And for him, 11 years old, to sit up there and to, that's all he, that's all he wanted to do. His wish was to just to help the homeless. I tell you, if you never help the homeless, if you never help someone, try it. Try it out. I promise you, you'll be blessed. I promise you, your life will change if you will open up and allow God to come in and to bless you while you blessing others. I want. To, I just want to say that because. Um, I think it needs to be said. Be thankful. Be thankful for your friends, your family. Be thankful for your wife, your partner, your significant other. Be thankful for yourself. Even though, like I said, it might not be what we want, how we want it. But be thankful that God has kept you and God has continued to keep you. And just be thankful because a lot of people did not wake up this morning. A lot of folks did not work out. A lot of people not able to walk this morning. A lot of people not able to move their arms and 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 speak and eat and whatever the whatever it is that our normal functions are every day. A lot of people are not able to do them. So be thankful. Be thankful. Thanks living. Be thankful for thanks living. That God has blessed you to be here another year. Anything about it is 365 days of the year God continue to keep you. And yeah, we go through trials and tribulations. That's life. But you know what they say, if it don't kill you, it can only make you stronger. And know that it might be dark days at times, but you know what? God always have a door open, no matter what. And sometimes we have to go through things at times, you know, in order to make us stronger and in order to make us a better person. So, if you can, let someone know how much you appreciate them. Because you just never know that might be their very last time. Or it could be your very last time. To hold the person you love, hold your family, hold each other tight, and just love them. And I hope that Brandon Foster will be able to be in your life and maybe you can be a Brandon and be able to go out and help someone God bless you thank you for watching my videos I appreciate it